It's DDK and I'm back today with another DoorDash video. Huge shout out to everybody tuning in. If you aren't subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Today is Cyber Monday. Now, for those of you who don't know what Cyber Monday is, Cyber Monday is when it's pretty much Black Friday, but it's on a computer. And from what I'm hearing, it's like one of the biggest days for the dashes. So we're gonna see how much we're gonna make. We already have one order for 4.5 miles for 7.75. So that's a good little order. So we're gonna get gas, we're gonna grab that order, and we're gonna get on our way. So let's get to this money, baby. Hi. Hello, I have a DoorDash pickup from Ramses. Thank you very much. You have a great day. That light right there. The door doesn't hit it. Get us a nice little picture. Now they want to fall out. You are already in now though. Are we going to be far for Jewel 2.3 miles? Let's make it happen. Awesome. Look at the dog, man. See if my dog can hook me up. Um, I have a DoorDash pickup for Phyllis. So that was definitely not worth the $8.45. It was a complete disaster. I didn't get to record anything, so I'm gonna tell you guys what happened. First off, we put the direct, we put it in uh, on the app. If you hit directions, it's gonna give you the GPS. The GPS sent us to the wrong location, so we had to go all the way back out to the street, drive down, turn, do all this stuff to get to the building. It was apartment 2G. Not only that, guess what? They had no elevator, so we had thick stairs. And we had two cases of water, two gallons of water, and groceries. We had to go up like, it was like seven stairs, and then cut again and go seven, ten, and then walk down the hallway. So that was a complete disaster. So hopefully the morning gets a little bit better. We're on our way to Gurney right now. We're about to get back to it. Ain't no time to complain. We're trying to maintain. We're trying to make, maintain getting this money. So I'll see you guys when we get to Gurney. Get Bed Bath & Beyond orders in. Two of them is for $14.75 on my phone, and then one of them is for $7 on her phone. So let's make it happen. That should bring us back around here, probably around 11-ish, which is gonna be prime time. Yes, ma'am. Um, I have three orders. I need to get a cart really fast. And what's the other one? Um, Hernandez? Uh, Paul and Hector. I have two more. One for one for Paul Moss, and the other one is for Hector the Lapez. This one. Thank you. I don't think you have that. Paul Moss. Okay. Okay. But you don't want to go in there and start getting all this coupons and emails and everything else. Yeah, no, okay. Right. Well, that's what I want. I want to be after. So, there you go. Okay, Thank you're ready. Thank you. And then the last one is Hector. That's the last name? Uh, the last name is the Lapaz. The first name is Hector. I think th it's this one right here. Oh, I didn't even see that one over here. Okay, so we got your regular receipt. Here's your 
can go ahead and take it back. Alrighty, thank you very much. Have a good afternoon. Full oh, house. This thing is amazing. Look at the look at the statue. Come on, man. It's level perfect. Come go. It's level seventeen. Took the picture. I think on the photo. You already know that. In answer, so. At the Beyond order, would you like it on the front porch or? Uh, if you could just leave it on the back door, that would be okay. nice. Okay, I got you. I'll okay, do it. I appreciate that. All right, you're All welcome. Right, thank you very much. All right, All right. bye bye. Porch. Smart man. Somebody gonna take you up top. So, it's, a two, it's a two units. So I'm gonna go right here. Pull it. Wham, wham. Get us a photo. You already know. You already know though. Gotta get the photo. Gotta get the photo. You already know though. Uh. Hello, this is Jerome with DoorDash. I'm here with your Bed Bath and Beyond order. Would you like me to leave it on your front porch? Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. All righty, you're welcome. You have a great day. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye. Gotta get this photo. Y'all already know though. Where we going? This is the uh, the Walmart pickup. 16 items. 38.6 miles for $46. We're gonna go to Walmart, get the stuff. We're Avocado Express right now. We got another order right now. But we're gonna get that. We're gonna go to Walmart, pick this stuff up, and then we're gonna see how long it's really gonna take. Thing, and it's only gonna be 20 miles. It's gonna take us 52 minutes to do this. So pretty much gonna make almost $46 an hour in less than an hour see you guys when we get to Walmart Walmart get us a car we don't need it hopefully they small items and not 16 big ones no this car no only thing going on jazz what's up <laughs> nothing okay jerome i got like uh you got hello items hello items here go okay, item number one i got a skin too yep you sure do you gotta do extra work today they changed it ain't used to and you gotta scan it when you get to the house okay, cool. who is this This one, Natalie. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh, I can do it for you. I'm sorry about that. Here, can you hold this? Yes. Okay. Okay, let's take it to Grandma. Uh-oh. Thank you. You're welcome. You guys have a good afternoon. You too. Thank you. <laughs> Drop this stone off. Man, I already got some stuff for you for. Right there. Oh, they want that photo. Y'all already know though.
we gone. Joe, uh, I didn't want that photo. Y'all already know that one. In the doorbell, we gone. We're taking a huge chance. We're gonna try this one. Portillo's 2.9 miles for 6.25. It's 12 items though. That's why I'm kind of skeptical about it. Let me hit the sip before I go away. Because Head and it's lunchtime, so hopefully, hopefully we have everything done. And hopefully our friend is out there too, so. <laughs> Hello, Tara. Yep. Doesn't it feel great to be able to bring your kids to work? It really does. It's such a blessing. I know. <laughs> oh, That's what happens when you're the boss. That's you right. Have, you have a great day. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It's actually snowing. I don't know if you can see it, but it's snowing. Snow. I'm going to put this like here. I don't want it to knock over, so. I'm gonna put it over here. Get him a little bit of room. And then, okay, we good. I didn't want that photo. You already know though. You got a Chipotle order. 1.5 miles for 675. We gotta take it. DoorDash for Aston. Aston, you Here you go. It's kind of heavy. All right, thank you. Have a good one. Take the Chipotle, 3.6 miles for 5.46. Hopefully, they give us a tip. So it is 4.01 p.m. We stopped at around 1.45 is because I had to edit the video, but we are currently at 1.18.25 and it's just about to be dinner time. So I want you guys to comment below and let me know how much you think we're going to get today. I'm thinking that we could possibly get 250. I think that this is possible. I don't know. You guys want to comment below, let me know what you think, and then we'll see. But it's time to get back to this money, baby. Let's do it. Bad ones we got, and this is not even a great one. This is an okay 4.6 miles for 625. We got to get the ball rolling. I'm gonna have a DoorDash order for McCarthy W. We gave them a call, we don't have what they ordered, so we're waiting for them to call us back. Okay, all right, thank you. Here we're Panera Bread. We took the Panera Bread order. We get here. I go in there. I tell them who I have the order for, and then she says, "Oh well, we called them and we don't have what they ordered, so they don't have it. So they wait on the people to call them back. So at this point, what are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to cancel? Because if we cancel, it's going to bring our our acceptance rate down again. I mean, our completion rate down again because the merchant didn't have the item. So comment below and let me know what you would do." Thank you. 
Um, I have a DoorDash pickup for Julia J. Julia? Give me one second. Yeah. I didn't want that photo. You well, already know now. Doorbell. They're on the blacklist. So we're going to see what happens. They are on the blacklist. They're doing empty, so hopefully. I'm going to have a DoorDash for Sophia. What name? Sophia. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think she also supposed to get a Sprite. One Sprite. Yeah. You work here? Yeah. Um, DoorDash for Alexa B. Hello. Oh, I'm gonna give you the whole bag. Sorry about that. There you go. Thank you. Have a good one. Hello. I'm gonna have a DoorDash pickup for Edwin. Edwin C. Look at the setup. They're killing them, ain't they? With the holidays. Y'all see them. Nice little layout they got. A big bag right here. Ooh. Put that right there. Take that photo. Y'all already know though. Like that. That door be on. This one say it doesn't ring, don't ring the door better or not. Hello. I'm fine. There you go. Enjoy. You. you have a good day. So, today was by far the weirdest day we have done in DoorDash. Everybody said it was going to be great. It was going to go crazy and all this and all that. But today was pretty weird. Now, don't get me wrong. Early in the day, everything was flowing. We were flowing. We had a good Walmart order for $46. We had some good orders. And we ended up with uh, around $130. We stopped so I can edit the video. We ended up with about $118, right? So, boom. Now I got the video edited. Everything going good. Boom. We come back out at 4. And then it was like we get a one little order, $8 order, which was kind of, it was a little skeptical, the order anyway. It wasn't like it was the best order, but it wasn't the worst order. It was just something to get us to start, to start going. Then we get some time going, then we get another order for like six something, and then it just like stopped from like four, four something to like 5.30, it was just like dry, we was getting bad order after bad order after bad order. Then we caught a good order, we caught a double order, I think it was teriyaki, man, I can't remember. We caught a good order, a double order, boom, boom, and then on our way back, we caught another one, boom. That was a good order, that was a good like $21 or something like that all together. Decent. Then after that, bad order, bad order. It just kept on flowing. Bad order after bad order. To the point where, and then and then everything was weird. It was like the mall was dry. There weren't really that many cars out there anymore. It was it was just kind of weird. I'm not sure what's going on. Even coming home, we didn't really get that many orders. So, 
but we did end up with 177.75 so we didn't do terrible but we didn't do the greatest either so we didn't get to 250 but it's all good we always have tomorrow tomorrow we're about to go crazy we're about to get 500 you know you never know but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, if you want to start, make sure you smash that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up for the pain and suffering I had to go through today. For the terrible orders and all that stuff. We still made the video, though, so that's always a plus. But give me a thumbs up for that. And if you want to subscribe, remember, make sure you smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We get back at it again. It's DDK, and I'm on my way.